good afternoon so I thought it's been a while but I want to show you what we got in Florida now we didn't buy that much <laughs> bought a lot of sweets so I'm going to just quickly show you everything and try and give you the best prices for them so where do we start candles first we said we weren't going to buy any but we brought two we brought Lakeside Morning which smells amazing and we also bought village candle again oh, that smells amazing as well we got these from bath and body works they had a sale on so for three wick candles was about 15 yeah 15 it was 16 dollars they had a tenner off the three wick candles so they were really cheap and you also brought in his favorite scent two ocean deodorants as well as an ocean <laughs> um, soap bar and then we got I think around about 10 little bottles of the stuff the hand sanitizer and they are about 150 each so it wasn't cheap but we didn't buy too much but worth it because we do love our candles and we do love our bath and body works right I'm just going to quickly go on to my face care so I use for my face the ordinary squalene cleanser you can get in england obviously but whilst i'm there i'll just might as well get it which i absolutely love i use this every day also my niacinamide less than a ten of a bottle and it's amazing stuff so i got my niacinamide which i love now i did i needed more vitamin c and retinol the ones i'm using now are cheap ones from boots which i absolutely love but i thought i'd try a different brand now these are from Murad they were cheap so I'm gonna see if it's worth getting more spending a lot more than what I'm spending see if that's any better but yeah Murad Morad very expensive but we'll see they're meant to be really good meant to be really beneficial so we'll see if cheap or expensive is better for that one now quickly I'm just picking out what's closest right now but my ears mickey ears these were 30 dollars from lounge fly so there you go and they are iridescent the nightmare before christmas ears now the whole range this year of these of the halloween stuff is nightmare before christmas and it is iridescent sort of 3d um, different colors so that's where that comes from um, I got loads of compliments on them as well. Everyone's loving them. Everyone's asking where I got them from because they were brand new out this year. So, made up, I got them actually. They're one of my favourite buys. Now, our next one is our Starbucks Bean Near series. So, this was our official mug for the holiday. This was $12.95 and this is a Florida Keys mug. We just had to have it. It's got the little key lime on there. It's got the long road going down there, got the mile marker zero down there, the conch. So made up with that. So I'll be happy to finally be able to use that. Um, let's have a look. So you've seen these on the vlog. From the Animal Kingdom, which you can only get these from the Animal Kingdom. This is around $35. Love it. I've not even tried it on yet. And the gorgeous shorts to match. These are about $25. So you've got your nice little embroidered Mickey there. And then this little animal print down the side. Just nice and simple and grey. Right, right, right. Our Christmas decoration we got from Epcot. And of course, it's a Starbucks cup. It's also got this little funky design on it. Now it is pink, but it's a nice pink. And that was $18, so not cheap. But I'm glad because I can't see figments on it and I hate figments. So it's all right, it's not got figments on it. So I'm happy with that. Next one is a piece of artwork from Key West. This is a Blue Rooster Cult from Key West. It is a lovely oil or acrylic of a obviously the key west cockerel that was 45 dollars from the funky chicken store 
So not bad. Well, forty nine dollars. Sorry, so not bad at all. So another random buy I got was this Miracle Moist shampoo and conditioner. Now they don't sell this particular one in England, and it's only five a bottle. And oh my god, my hair after using it was amazing. The softest it's ever been. So I had to buy it, of course, and bring it back. <laughs> so yeah, random buy. But I did look online and you can't get that particular one with the avocado in it in England with the paper bottle. So I got it. My favourite buy of the holiday, one of my favourite buys, oh, Key West Salt Scrub. This is around $25 and you can only get it in Key West. And let me tell you, nothing matches up to this scrub. So if you're ever in the Keys, get some of this it's amazing i've gone for the pineapple can't resist I, I remember trying it for the first time years ago and i just fell in love with this so yeah <laughs> had to get some more going back now another buy I've not tried this one yet either was my mickey sort of knitted jumper or my mini knitted jumper 25 dollars they had this in a couple of different colors but i like this color this is just nice and bright. $25 and this size is an extra small. Gorgeous. I can't wait to try that on. I can't wait to wear it with a nice pair of jeans and boots. So I love that buy. That's an amazing buy. Let's have a look. So, oh, my gorgeous night chains. Now, I forget how much these were. They were expensive. It's dirty already, though. They were expensive, but so cute, so different. Nice, love the little pink peachy there, and I love this blue thing here. So, I think they're less than $50. So, made up with them now. An amazing buy, which I can't wait to try and wear now that I'm doing this video. Are these slippers? Look at them from Aldo. Look at the inside, like Oaks. Yeah, I wish I could have brought more stuff from Aldo, the Aldo outlet in Violence, because I would have brought a hell of a lot more. But of course, didn't have the space. <laughs> Whilst on Aldo, we also got oh, this little beauty for $25. Now, such look at that really good quality on that one. It's really nice, really big inside. Feels really luxurious with the long handle as well. And it's got extra pockets and it's got a lovely clasp here. $25 again, could have bought all the bags. Was in love with them all. Right. Now, is it gonna laugh? Now I make a special rice krispies cake for me and Andrew, of course, for his family. And I made them last time using my mini M&Ms. Of course, you can't get them in England. So when we were in Florida, Andrew's mum and dad went to the M&M store, bought me this little bag, $17. Very, very expensive. So they're getting saved for them when they come over in November. But I did find another bag in Walgreens for a tenner. So even more hopefully cakes for us. So I'm excited for that. Again, big bag of musketeers, a couple of dollars. Couldn't resist, love musketeers, love them. Another favourite of mine, Junior Mints. I bought a fair few boxes of, of these for them. They are like after eight, but with more of the centre. Less chocolate, more centre, so I absolutely love them. So, where are we now? Now, I can random buy this deodorant. If you can't get it in England or in out here, it's a Dove and it's a cream deodorant and it's the most amazing thing ever. Like $3. Best thing I've ever used in my life. If I could have got a hundred of them, I would have. <laughs> so this one, these were a gift. We got two of them. The soaps from the basin in Disney Springs. Now this little piece will take you back around six, seven dollars, which isn't cheap, but oh, the smell is amazing and they are homemade. 
We don't normally buy them just because they are quite expensive, but as it was a gift, we, we're made up with them. So I'm going to be using them. So we're excited for that one. Oh, now let's have a look. Ooh. So these are my metal earths I got. You will see on my Instagram, I've made loads of metal earths. They take hours upon hours to make, but I've made them and I've been on a hunt for some more. So I've got the Universal Arches entryway. They're really hard to make. Mine, mine are all a bit wonky, a bit drunk looking, but that's fine. It's all in the fun. And then I also got, which feels like it's going to be really, really hard to do and think it will be, the Hollywood Tower Hotel. Now, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see, but look how small this little piece is. I don't know whether it'll focus. If it does, that big. Now I've got to try and get in and build. But that's going to be hard work. Oh, another thing that I got, a fiber each, which I'm really excited to try. Just these French fried chicken seasonings. I got a Cajun one, which Andrew will be made up to try, and a buffalo wing one. You know all the buffalo wings. They were a fiver. Ooh, right, more food. Now these the best biscuits you'll ever have in your life. These are mint thins, and these are obviously gluten-free. Oh, best things you'll ever try. If you're ever out there, get some thin mints. You won't regret it. You will not regret it. Andrew, of course, had his Chiardelli chocolate, so I'm excited to try that. That was on sale for like 150, so we've done that. Now, just whilst on the subject of food, Whilst you're out there, we were tasked by Catherine to find her these birthday cake rice crispy cereal sweets. Now, they're not like six dollars a pop, so we got in a bunch of them. So I wanted to see what the whole fuss was, why they were so nice. They're not certified gluten free, but they don't contain gluten. Um they've changed the ingredients lately and they don't have their um what is it called? barley flavouring in them so these are actually safe not obviously not for celiac but i'm gonna try them i did get oh the starbucks ones though which are certified gluten free and they are the nicest rice crispy cakes ever because can you see their little marshmallows so good so good now let's have a look as well i'll talk about things that we brought up before we went as well from B&M for like two quid. Sephora wipes, amazing. For a quick wipe over everything, I'm in love with them. And you can't beat how cheap they were. So, of course, I've got my Petco disinfectant, but just for a quick wipe over, I use them. Oh, now, some of you will be happy with this. Ooh, fun Fetty, gluten-free Fun Fetty cake. So I'm excited to try this because I like a fun fetty and I love the Pillsbury range as well it's an amazing range so I'm excited to try that whilst it's still on food Andrew with a char deli so I can't have these but Andrew will be made up so I'll cook these for him and he can eat them all on his own it includes chocolate syrup and chips oh so he's gonna be made up with that. So he'd be happy to have that. Now I did get these. What I'm gonna try and do is, when this video comes out, put this on my Instagram with the links. These are from, oh, what's it called? Not Pinterest. The other one. Cutly set. Handmade. And you choose whatever name you want, another whatever color. Cutly set. So I got all four of us these for the uh, Food and Wine Festival. So I got these. So I will put the link in my, what's it called? In, um, what's it called? Instagram. There you go. I will put that link up there for you as well. Now, another couple of things I bought. Th these are just the girls now. The ice are clean. So this is, look at it online and look at it on TikTok. It's a brush cleaner. The most amazing brush cleaner you'll ever have in your life. They'll dry after five minutes of so cleaning the brush with this. 
It took two minutes and you'll dry after five minutes. So girls, go out and get them for your makeup brushes. Mm, this one from TikTok again. So that was from TikTok. This one was from TikTok as well. My look for Halloween Horror Nights as well as Lydia's and Sarah's was made using this palette from a TikTok shop called Bose Beauty. Oh, I want to see how beautiful it is. Oh, look at that. Look at those colours. The pigments are amazing. The colours are amazing. And it's UV reactive. The most amazing colours ever. So I'm going to try and make some looks for, you know, not Halloween Horror Night. <laughs> makeup. I bought a couple of new makeup, only little bits. I brought this Elf Halo Glow. Now, this is a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury flawless filter i did buy the wrong color it is too dark because i bought it online but if you want to try the flawless filter get that i use this all holiday underneath foundation the best thing ever as well elf elf was just smashing it lately this is really hard to hold up lydia had to go all the way to crew for this for me but this is the elf power grip um primer now, this is what made my makeup last all day in the park and all night. This, it's dead tacky to put on, but nothing budges, nothing at all. Amazing. So I'm glad I got that. I've got two of those, so I made up with them. Now, my favourite lippy that I've got on now oh, is this. And there is number 2062A. Oh. I've got this on now. It goes with anything and it suits anything um but that was about 15 dollars so not the cheapest but it does last because the other one i've had for years and it lasts now the last thing i'm going to show you is my favorite thing the vans the vans just look how beautiful they are now they were $85 and came in this gorgeous little box, so I've had to keep the box, and they're stickers. So I'm made up, so I'm excited to try them on properly and wear them, but yeah. So Andrew also bought himself a pair of glasses, Oakley's. They went to be 300 and I think they were only about 150 because his mum and his dad brought a pair and he got new lenses and his other glasses. We haven't got these at hand. But yeah, we didn't buy too much. Obviously, the exchange rate just destroyed anything, buying anything special. And you also bought his socks. We now have a household full of socks. We can sock the whole British Army with the amount of pairs of socks we got in this house of the same sock. It's a nightmare pairing them up. But yeah, he bought his socks, made us have them back. But yeah, the exchange rate really, really hurt us this year, which is why it's mostly sweet, because it was just like mostly little, little bits that we wanted. Really had to cut back and really think about what we wanted. But yeah, that's everything. Oh, not forgetting his trainers. So we can't really wear them for work because they are really bright, but he will be wearing them. They were 150 worthy, not cheap, but he said they are super comfy and they are under armor. Under armor are a really good brand. A lot of my stuff away is Under Armour. But yeah, that's everything. Yeah, that's everything that we bought, that we brought back with us. So I can finally put it all away now. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your favorite thing to bring back is. And let me know as well, if you've been recently, how much the exchange rates hurt you. Have you noticed it? Have you not noticed it? Have you just, oh, no, I forgot one more thing. Oh, oh, before we go. Now, my mum and dad got me this for my birthday. This was $85. This isn't... Oh, where's Loungefly? I didn't think this was Loungefly. I thought this was something else. There you go. This is... Oh, it's a pop bag by Loungefly. This is Loungefly. And look. Rah! That's your favourite part. Love it. Just love it. So, yeah, 85 before tax. Made up with that buy. So, my mum and dad got me that for my birthday. But, yeah absolutely made up we got we got enough for with the exchange rate 
So yeah, let us know guys, as have you noticed the exchange rate or do you just not care? Do you save enough? Are you able to save enough to just blow every single penny? Is it your one holiday of the year so you just go wild? Or are you a bit more conservative with your money? Because we've been three times this year, we have scaled back our buys. We normally buy loads, don't we? You see from our first time we went or second time, we just brought loads and loads of stuff. But because we've been so much, we haven't felt the need to buy so much. So we have really scaled back, really thought about what we needed and was especially enough to buy. So thank you very much, guys, for watching. Really enjoyed that. Love showing you guys. And again, I'll try and put on my Instagram the links to everything that I brought from, what's it called? Not Pinterest. I'll remember later, guys. So thank you very much. And uh, bye for now.